We had some fun recently on the channel with breakbeats, and I actually had so much fun that I wanna play with them some more. So, here's a breakbeat. This time, instead of splicing it up by transients, I have a full loop as a single splice. And that's the only splice in my reel. Before we get further into it, I'll let you know there are a few key options I've set on the Morphogene. Most importantly, in-op one, which lets us record what is at the input, regardless of the sound on sound setting. And I've also set record option to one so that I can record into a new splice using the record gate input. Also, I've set the clock option to two so that um, the clock always causes time stretch when gene size is not counterclockwise. And I've set organize mod to one so that I can organize to other splices instantly once I have them. I'm also going to use the end of splice trigger to create a clock rate on the tempi. Once I patch it and let the splice play all the way through, the tempi will remember this clock rate. So now I'm going to unpatch it so that I can alter the gene lengths without the tempi changing rate. I have the morphogene patched through the QPOS and mimeophone. And I've molded the mimeophone's outputs back to the inputs of the morphogene. If we turn the sound on sound control back to live, this can result in feedback. So we wanna keep it generally fully on real output instead. What this will let us do, since we set the input option to one, is to process the output with QPOS and Mimeophone and uh, record the result into new splices in the morphogene, which we can organize through at will for variations or process further and iterate upon. So let's try one. We'll patch up some modulation. When we're ready to record, we'll patch the end of splice gate to the record input. This will record a fresh splice of the same length as the current one. I'll note that if we keep the organized control turned counterclockwise, it'll always keep playing the first splice, even as we add more. If we were to set it clockwise, then the new splice would start playing after recording and the QPOS and Mimeophone would immediately start acting upon that. Uh, we could record multiple iterations of either the original or the new iterations themselves as we see fit. Let's record a few other iterations before we check them out.
Okay, there's a few iterations. Let's go ahead and zero out the QPOS and Mimeophone controls. And we'll patch the end of splice to shift so we can just hear all the iterations in a row. And of course we can affect these as we see fit as well. Now, let's do a little time stretch. While we're time stretching, we can organize or shift between splices while remaining in the same area of the splice. Sort of break feet jumping. You can also change the gene size and the vary speed while maintaining the same clock rate. sequencing some other parameters too. The thing to keep in mind is that as long as we keep this same basic signal flow intact, we can record what we're hearing at any time, and it will be added as a new splice at the end of the reel.
Once we have a whole bunch of variations, sequencing or shifting through the splices can be a lot of fun. And of course, we can record that too. Here the mess we've made. The only real limit here is the two minute, 54 second length available to a reel. The splice I started with is about three and a half seconds long, so we should be able to fit probably 40 or 50 different iterations, which for me is usually more than I actually want in a single reel. It can also be useful to keep in mind that we can remove any splice we don't like. Do we like that one? I mean, personally, I like that one, but for demonstration's sake, we can remove any splice we don't like by holding shift and pressing record. Obviously, here we're using a QPOS, a mimeophone, and a breakbeat, but this same concept could be done with any type of processing and any type of sound. Do you have any favorite iterative morphogenetics? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and happy patching.